purchase mahogany with mahogany group new home rebates two percent that is big deal um anyhow uh today we are here to talk about the different type of loan programs that are out there and again i am your real estate agent here but please believe i also have my uh, loan officer license and so with that being said i went out there to get all that good knowledge get some experience just for you guys so therefore when i'm talking to you about the new home constructions and you're thinking about their lenders which we'll talk about in another video versus other lenders or programs and how structures can work to best benefit you then know that i know what i'm talking about and i know exactly how the two will work against each other or together whatever have you that'll best benefit you and your family and your situation okay so uh with that being said you have loan programs out there we're going to talk about the common most loan programs that are used again always structuring videos with those five w's we're going to talk about the who it applies to, the what it is, when, where, how, if it's applicable, okay? So let's get into what it is first. You have your common loan programs, which are uh, your conventional loan. That's the oldie but goodie. Uh, you have FHA, you have VA, and you have one that a lot really don't talk about that much, which is called a USDA, okay? So let's go into the one that's used a lot, but um, not more so... Uh, used when you're getting your first home conventional so conventional is the loan that was kind of out there from the beginning of time it was the loan that was really kind of hard to reach when people were thinking about that american dream because it came with that big whopping 20 percent down payment and when you're just getting started in the game of buying homes it is not that easy to acquire a 20 percent down payment for what the homes are costing these days not like back in the days and like what is it uh 1938 when homes were four thousand dollars oh my gosh <laughs> but now we're looking at homes and the average prices out here in houston you got around it used to be around like high threes now it's like mid fours and now i'm almost i need to do another check on the market to see where we're at because man it's, it's getting up there so depending on what part of the quadrant that you go to if you go to the one that's really nice great school district you can be looking easily at a six hundred thousand dollar home you got the 20% down payment for that today? Maybe not if it's your first home, right? So they've come up with other type of loan programs, which they a lot of people like to consider and call the first time home buyers program. It's really anybody can use it if you qualify under the ratios that we've talked about in previous videos uh, for your DTI. But um, however, uh, it's a government backed loan versus just a regular conventional loan. So the FHA loan, is a loan that'll allow you to do a lower down payment. Now, mind you, um, the down payment is 3.5, and now today you can find conventional loans that'll go all the way down to 3%. However, it still has tight ratios, okay? Um, so FHA loan has a looser ratio, basically saying when I say ratio, there are those percentages that you have to qualify under with your debt to income. I won't go into detail about debt to income right now because I have in a previous video. Subscribe and like, go watch that video and come back to this one. Um, if your debt to income will qualify under a certain percentage, then you can actually get into that FHA loan. Um, same thing with conventional. Conventional is harder to get into. Their ratio is lower. So it means your debt to income has to be lower. Okay. And then you have VA. Now VA to all my lovely service members out there. I'm a fellow veteran with you. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. There are so many myths about it that I want to try to debunk some of them today. Um, your ratio can be as high as sometimes 50%. Sometimes if you go to a lender, they may go over a little bit. So it just depends on the risk level that lender wants to take from my experience. <laughs> um, however, uh, yeah, so you can go pretty high with yours. And when I say ratio, there's two ratios. You have a front end ratio and you have a back end ratio. I am referencing the back end ratio because it includes everything. Your new house payment and anything that comes with that taxes, insurance, whatever have you. And some, I'm even your, your HOA payment um, outside of that and any other debt that you have currently going on that month. So with that, um, that's the only number we're going to talk about as far as ratio. So those are your four type of loans. Let's talk about some, some differences between those in a sense that are really kind of kick you out the door with it or keep, get you in the door with it. Um, conventional loans and FHA loans, both. If you do not put down a 20% down payment, then you'll have what's called either mortgage insurance or a PMI, <clears throat> sorry, or PMI, primary mortgage insurance, MIP or PMI, um, two different. Same thing called different things, however, 
With a conventional loan, what happens is if you don't put down 20%, then you'll have to carry insurance for the lender saying, hey, I, I have more, I'm carrying more of a risk. The lender's carrying more of a risk because you haven't put down a huge down payment. So in the event that you default, that means that they're gonna have to take on more. In order to help them with that, not have to take on a higher risk, they ask you or make you pay a monthly payment until you get to that 20% equity. So it incentivizes you to put down more of a down payment or get there quicker. As soon as you do get up to that either 78%, you can call and request that they take it off or they'll wait to the 80% uh, mark, basically 20% you're in for equity, 80% their side. And then it falls off automatically, right? Then your payment lowers for that amount. You no longer need that insurance. FHA, if you have an FHA and you put down lower than 20%, then you'll have the same thing, exact thing, same reason, all of it, except it stays on there for the life of the loan, unless you refinanced to get out of it to another loan or just the same, as long as you have the equity still there when refinancing, it'll be there for the life of the loan. So there's no calling to get out of that one, okay? And VA never carries insurance. You don't have to put down a dime as far as when it comes down to down payment, okay? All right, and USDA, I didn't explain it much because it doesn't exist that much here in Houston. It does exist throughout Texas. A USDA loan is an agricultural loan, pretty much. It has different uh, limitations and different, um, I guess you can say, uh, open spaces to allow for uh, more people to be able to get into a loan that are in a rural area. Those are actually determined by zone lines, right? Some zone lines have been updated, some have not. You'll really find them in the areas like out in the... If you're going far out, far out, like past Bullshire, if you know that area, or somewhere where there's not a whole lot of, you know, you'll probably have a well water out on your land if that applies to you, or farming animals, animals on your land if that applies to you, all right? And it's not that much here in the Houston metro area to where you actually see a lot, a lot of life going on. Um, you'll see it more in the Killeen area. You'll see it out there um, in the far out Dallas areas as well, and in San Antonio, it's there on the northeast side. Okay, but um, so it doesn't really apply too much here, but they have their own ratios as well to be able to qualify. Um, now, let me see here. So those are your four major types, right? And those are the types that your lender is normally going to talk to you about. There are structures that you can do with each to make things happen. Um, as far as like you can have an adjustable rate, I'm not going to get into that. We're just thinking about clear, straight, 30-year fixed loans uh, with normal down payments and whatever have you. So again, I've unpacked a lot. I don't want to make this video too long. If you have any questions, if you have comments, please do not be shy. Don't hesitate. Put them in the comment sections. Like, subscribe. You can also get our contact information right after this video. It'll be a link down there for it. But if you're really quick on your feet, the number is 832-919-7711. Or you can reach out on any of our social media channels to um, also get in contact with us. It's been great giving you this lesson, this lovely knowledge for you to use. I await your questions. See you next time.